normal. Well, now we're going to talk to Matt Sharp from CarMax.com, those uh, stores where uh, they're very popular all around the country where people go and buy and sell their used cars. How are you, Matt? I'm doing well, Javier. How are you? Excellent. Thank you very much. So CarMax, uh, it's been uh, in business for a long time, right? Like about almost 20 years, I think? That is correct. We actually just celebrated our 20-year anniversary. We sold over 5 million cars. Wow, five million cars. That's a lot of cars. Uh, and uh, I guess you are the largest retailer of uh, used cars in the nation? That is correct. Yeah. So uh, CarMax, for those who don't know it, I don't know where they've been for the past 20 years, as you just said. Uh, can you explain a little bit how the process goes there when you go in and either to buy or to sell your car? Absolutely. So we have a very transparent business model where uh, we clearly advertise our price on every window sticker on our cars. So we put our lowest price right on the window sticker, right up front. All of our cars go through a rigorous 125-point inspection, so we guarantee a quality product with no frame damage or no flood damage. Um, and each vehicle comes with a free vehicle history report that the customer can view right from our website, either at the comfort of their own home or inside the building. So we enjoy a hassle-free experience with our customers. Uh, we try to make it as enjoyable and really focus on the customers having a great experience when they buy or sell a used car. Yeah, I think you, you hit on the on the key word there, transparency. Because nowadays with through internet, there's I mean, there's no no place to hide, right? I mean, uh, the information is available for everybody. It's just a matter of people doing their homework, I guess. That is exactly right. I always recommend that customers utilize a website as they're purchasing a car and do their research. Um, for example, CarMax has over 35,000 cars online with over 30 to 35 pictures per vehicle. So you can gain a lot of insight by doing your research online. Yeah, and um, I have to admit that, uh, I mean, let me recognize that I, I saw a car at CarMax about 10 years ago, uh, and it was a great experience. So thank you for that, but uh, that's another story. I mean, we're talking about something else here now. So um, we're heading into a season, I mean, it's almost the end of that for people who are not filed their taxes, uh, but you, you conducted a pretty interesting survey about what people will do with that money, the lucky ones that get some refund. So can you go ahead a little, tell us about that, please? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So what we found is that one out of every six Americans who receive a tax refund are likely to put it toward buying a car this year. 17% um, of those receiving a refund said that they are likely to put it towards the specific purchase of a car. Well, one interesting fact was 29% of those customers were under 35 years old. So over right around 30% of customers under 35 years old plan to utilize their tax return for a down payment on a car. Uh, of that 30%, 26% of those are parents. So you think about the younger clientele that's coming in to purchase a car and, and where that puts them in and utilizing that money for a car purchase. Yeah. Um, also, we found that a quarter of Americans, over 25%, plan to save the refund, as well as another quarter of Americans plan to pay back debt. So their plan is to pay off debt that they've accrued over the year or over years and, uh, and try and get that paid off. Yeah. So um, I guess uh, these uh, the the, the um, recommendations that you were giving before apply for every every time of the year. So yeah, I guess you're gonna start seeing a, a, a bigger flow of business in these days after the tax season is over. Well, historically, tax season is a very exciting time for CarMax, and um, it is a very busy time for us. And one of the things we're really excited about is that. And we are a growing company. We are, we're in the midst of a, a national expansion plan, adding 10 to 15 stores each year. So not only will tax season play a factor in that, but just our company growth will play a factor in that. Yeah. So um, let's, uh, I, I just uh, found out uh, another uh, survey from uh, Kelly Blue Book, actually, when they recommend the best used cars for under $8,000. And I guess this uh, cross-shopping uh, informa uh, information flow on the Internet is pretty useful, right? I mean, do you guys work with any of these big outlets, uh, media outlets, to, to compare information and, like, uh, help cost consumer consumers and all that? Uh, that's a great question, Javier. A lot of customers utilize those online resources to do more research on their cars. CarMax specifically, we don't utilize just one resource. We utilize a variety of different resources. And so while I, I do recommend customers do the research online, utilizing resources like that, whether it's a specific website or a website in general that discusses um, how to buy or gets tips on, on used car buying or selling, um, doing research online is very important. And there's a lot of great resources out there for customers. 
Yeah, uh, your uh, number two recommendation is buy for quality, and actually, Kelly will book in this report a uh, name that is Honda Civic, uh, the best used car for under eight thousand um, dollars, on ten years of, of uh, less old age, and they said one of that thing like quality. I mean, you have to buy for quality, even though it's a used car. You have you can look for uh, the reputation of those cars, right? That is correct. And a lot of people, the, the biggest mistake sometimes they make when purchasing a car is they, they buy specifically for price not for quality. So I, I really think it's important for customers to consider the quality of the product they're buying, not just the price point. Um, it may be something like ensuring the customer's been through some type of quality inspection so you can feel confident it will last for a long, long time for you. And when you talk about the, they buy for price, are, are you referring to the monthly payment or the total price of the car? Or both? Usually both. Um, usually both. Uh, customers come in mind with a a budget in mind, whether it's a total amount or it's a monthly payment. And for each, each customer is unique. Each customer has their, their own approach to it. And what I always encourage customers to do is have that in their mind where you would be comfortable, whether it's a total amount or a monthly payment. And one of the great things about CarMax is that our sales consultants help interview customers through that process and help them get into the right car for them. So our, our goal really is to help the customer find the right car. Yeah. Uh, the other one is narrow your options. I mean, like, pretty much know what you want. Uh, but that it's difficult because when you are one of your stores that are big, I mean, like, you have maybe something in your mind, but you might see something that you like better. <laughs> that's a problem. No, that's a, that's a great point, Javier. A lot of customers come in, or, or in general, customers start and say they start online. My recommendation for that would be to narrow their options. And it's important to know exactly what your needs and wants are out of a car. So specific things that you need, specific things that you want. This will help you narrow your options down and select a few vehicles that you'd like to test drive before coming into the store. Yeah. It's always a great idea to have that selection made after your research online. So when you come into the store, you and your sales consultant can create a plan and help you do more research and learn more about more cars. Yeah. And uh, the other thing is that uh, go someone you trust. I mean, nowadays you see Craigslist, you see Facebook, you see Twitter, you, I mean, all classifieds even now in newspapers. Most people don't use that anymore. But uh, I mean, you don't know who you're dealing with, right? Yeah, that's a great point, Javier. We always recommend that you choose a retail that you trust. Um, one of the things that the key to that is a transparent business model, and that can also provide an enjoyable car buying experience that's focused on you as the customer. So uh, sales consultants at CarMax example are paid a fixed rate commission no matter what car they sell. So they can focus solely on helping you find the right car. So we discussed transparency earlier. Uh, we feel it's a big part of the car buying process is to choose a retailer that's transparent and where you can really enjoy your car buying experience. Yeah, and uh, one of those uh, things about the dealership experience for new cars at least, I mean, it used to be and still is a little bit sometimes for people who don't do their homework. It's, it can be pretty intimidating if you don't have the right information and you end up like probably buying things you don't need or you can afford. Uh, so here, just your the, the consultants at CarMax just like they, they have their salary, they have their commission, and that's it. I mean, they're going to make extra money they sell you in a more expensive car. That's what you're saying. That is correct. So whether or not it's a $40,000 car or a $10,000 car, our sales consultants are compensated the same commission for each sale. So their goal truly is when you walk through that front door or call into our internet office to help you find the right car for you as the consumer. And as a consumer, that empowers you to let you know that and I have somebody on the other end of this that's really working hard for me as the customer to help me find that right car for my needs and my wants. And our sales consultants really enjoy it and our customers love it. Yeah. And uh, ask the right questions. And I guess, uh, I mean, going back to probably the first uh, recommendation, I mean, do your research, ask questions, but I guess try to f narrow them down because your, your consultants don't have all day either. <laughs> so <laughs> Yeah, so we we do encourage customers to ask questions to their sales consultant because sales consultants will be a resource for them and, and helping them answer questions will be a resource in finding information. And one of the great things about CarMax is we sell so many different makes and models that we have access to that type of information. So the more questions that you ask, um, the better you will be informed as a customer. And also, as you get into the financing piece, you understand the terms of your agreement before you sign any documents and walk out the door with a new car. Yeah. Matt Sharp from CarMax. Uh, so, Matt, uh, I guess uh, people can just go to your stores wherever they are around the country or uh, visit online uh, the website, too? That is correct.
Walker at CarMax.com has over 35,000 cars online. We also have a mobile app on that's iPhone and Android compatible. So, and we have 133 stores nationwide, anywhere from Florida, our next, all the way over to the West Coast. So we're, and, uh, so we're if expanding you, across the United States. If I go in and, and I'm looking for a specific car and it's not like where near where I live, will they ship it or how? I mean, do they do that? Yes, we any used vehicle and CarMax's inventory has the option to be transferred to any location. So, for example, wow. if there's a car in St. Louis and you would like to transfer it to another city, the location that you are currently in would facilitate that. And we could we could ship that car in through our transportation process to your your local location. Wow, that's a big store, man. <laughs> Thank you very much, Matt Sharp from CarMax.com. Uh, great information, and uh, so go and visit the, the website and the stores. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Javier. Bye.